Hey guys, Jim Nelson here. Nice to chat with you today and nice to get in touch. Like I did say, this is the channel for us, the young guys, teenagers, young adults, and the young at heart. Today is the 4th of August. In history, let us get to know something that happened. 4th of August in the year 1265. In the year 1265, 4th of August, the Battle of Evesham took place, and that was when Prince Edward, the English Prince Edward, beat Simon de Montfort. Yeah? It's in history. In the year 1265, at the Battle of Evesham, Prince Edward, the English prince, beat Simon de Montfort, the younger in battle yeah that's history man did you know that today what are we going to talk about for the young and as a young person there is something that lingers in our hearts sometimes we are so frustrated with life we don't know right from wrong we don't know which direction to go sometimes life looks so boring Sometimes you really get fed up of being told what to do. Sometimes they throw many choices right in front of you and you get even more confused. Now, I'd like to suggest to you, I love the young because it's not many years ago that I have been a young person. You get my point? Yeah, I have been a teenager and I never forget those days. So I know we need some help. We need some support. And I love to do that because when I was young, I got loads of help. I wrote a book for young people. It's called Pathway to Discovering Your Purpose in Life by Jim Nelson. You can grab even electronic copies from Amazon. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this book to you, there are rich information. For example, today, in the first chapter, let's talk about purpose. You don't need to get frustrated with your life, get confused with too many choices. Okay? This book will give you a pointer or pointers to discovering yourself, to know your purpose. Now, first of all, what is purpose? Purpose, simply put, is the reason for which you were created, the reason for which you were born, the reason for which God made you. Sometimes I talk about God, but remember, I'm not a religious guy. God doesn't like religion. So when we talk about God in this channel, we're not talking about religion at all. We're talking about friendship. As they say, information is power. I'm sharing the information that I have so that you can take that information, think about it. You can ask me a question, drop me some email or messages. I'll be very happy to respond because through exchanging information, we can enrich ourselves. That's why they say information is power. So don't get frustrated. Don't get discouraged. Let's keep chatting to one another, encouraging one another, sharing information, and we'll see how we come at the other side, you know? Purpose. There is a reason for which you were created. It doesn't matter what the circumstances around your birth may be. It doesn't matter. That's a deep statement because there are some circumstances surrounding young people right from birth. I know some young people who grew up to hear that their parent had said, not knowing that the young person was hearing, they had said they didn't plan for that child. It could be you. Have you ever heard such thing? It's hurting. And then there are some parents who say very hurting words, like you are not good for anything. Look at your mates are thriving and moving on. And they call your names. Those are hurting. But it's time for me to tell you something. You don't have to prove anything to anyone. All you need to do is to have the right information. So today, I'd like to let you know there is a purpose for which you were made and why you are still alive right now listening to me. I want you to believe that. There is something in you that you need to discover. And that is your purpose. Why did God create you? Why are you alive in this planet right now? And how is it that you are listening to me right now, encouraging you to let you know there is something great in you? It's called purpose, the reason for which you were made. 
Let me give you an example. Everything God made has a purpose. Okay? That's a fact. Trees, for example. Why are trees all over the place? You have organizations like Friends of the Earth. They don't want you to cut down the trees. Trees have purpose. When carbon dioxide accumulates in the atmosphere, what happens? The trees know their purpose is to absorb that carbon dioxide and then release oxygen into the atmosphere. So whenever there is a concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, what happens? The tree knows its purpose and the trees go to work. They absorb the, uh, the oxygen, I mean the carbon dioxide, and they release oxygen into the air. That's why we are alive and breathe in oxygen. And that's why friends of the earth don't want us to cut down trees at random. So the trees know their purpose. You get me? You got to know your purpose. I'll give you another example. Water. We have water everywhere. Sometimes you hear the government saying that we should uh, not waste water. We should conserve them. Our body is made with up to 60% or more water. So even our body, our systems need water to function. Our cells in our body, our organs, they need water to function. When you drink water, water revitalizes you, water hydrates you, and water helps you to function. You get that? Everything God made has a purpose. And they all fulfill their purpose. You, you got a purpose. Now we got to find out what is your purpose. Then we can guide you into living to fulfill that purpose. But before you fulfill the purpose, you've got to discover it. You are not a waste. You are not an accident. You are not a mistake. I want you to know that. By the time we go through discussing in the next series as we progress in this channel, you will be amazed when you discover your purpose. Oh man, you'll be fired up and ready to go somewhere. Until next time, I want you to think about this. Is there a reason I was made? I got to find out. I will chat with Jim. I want to work with Jim to know how I can discover my purpose. I will work together with you. And I do believe in the long run, you'll be glad we did become friends through social media. Until then, keep pondering about this. I'll get in touch very soon and we will talk more about you your purpose and how you can fulfill your purpose i want to say thank you for being my friend remember you can grab this book actually from amazon if you want the electronic copy just a few euros otherwise you get in touch with me i can get in touch with you with a hard copy if you prefer that thank you i want to say thank you thank you for being there for me for listening to me and sharing your opinions with me jim nelson here saying bye for now adios ciao go to america I like you, man. Thank you. Thank you. See you.